Hi everyone, welcome back to my videos. Today I am going to do a review of the five items that we decided to buy this time that we didn't buy last time with My Little Girl. If you haven't seen the video where I talk about the items that we decided to buy, please click on this video here um, and that will give you a brief des description on what we decided to buy and the reasons for why. So first up is the Bambino Mio reusable nappies. So just a little bit of a recap, this is what they look like. So these are the all-in-one nappies that have the liner attached in, inside them and you just pull it out to wash it, shove it in the washing machine, Bob's your uncle, pop it back in when you're ready to reuse it again and there's your reusable nappy. So I bought 14 uh, nappies to begin with and actually what I'm finding is I'm not going through them quite as much as I thought. So I'm aiming to use two nappies a day which doesn't seem like a lot but actually I've done the calculations and over the two and a half year if you think about your baby potty training around two and a half years old if you do two of these nappies a day in total you save around 1,800 disposable nappies going into landfill and actually it makes me feel a little bit better. The reason why I'm not using them all the time is because I don't think baby particularly likes them. Um, I actually think that because of the way they clip and the way they, they fold near the front of um, the baby on, on, on the tummy, I actually think it's making his reflux a little bit worse and actually where he can lift his legs up to try and get rid of some gas, he's not able to do that as easily in these nappies. It could just all be in my head to be honest but um, as a result I tend to use them uh, quite sparingly during the day, you know, either after he's done a poo or um, if I know that, you know, he's a little bit more comfortable and he's, he's not as fussy, only then I'll really use them quite a lot. But I'm still trying to aim to use them as much as I can. They are a bit of a faff to clean as well. So I'm trying to um, wash them as often as I can whilst the weather's quite nice. So things like drying them on heaters or in the tumble dryer, I'm trying to avoid as well. So washing and drying them is becoming a bit more of a faff. Also, I don't know whether it's because these are second hand, but I've noticed that they leak quite a lot. So I'm finding myself then having to not only wash the nappies, but also wash more clothing. And as you know, washing just never stops when you have a family. It feels like it's the only thing I ever do in this house. So in summary, for the Bambino Mio reusable nappies, the pros include they have cute little designs and let's face it, they look adorable. Saving landfills from disposable nappies and generally being able to call yourself a smug eco mum. The cons include they do leak badly, especially around the legs. Washing and drying can be a bit tedious after a while. And the fold at the front of the nappy is causing a little bit of pressure on the tummy and therefore may aggravate any reflux. Next are the cheeky wipes, which are um, to replace uh, disposable wipes, baby wipes. And actually, I was really pleasantly surprised by these. They're, they're basically like glorified mini flannels for your bum. I mean, how luxurious is that to wipe your bum with a flannel each time? I mean. Come on, this, this baby has it good. And actually, as I said, really pleasantly surprised. They're really easy to use. I have a little box, which I showed you in, in the video last time, um, that I just fill with water, shove these in, and they're, they're just like damp cloths. So every time um, Aiden has a poo or even a wee, I just take one out, wipe it all over, stick it in the dirty nappy box, which I have with the reusable nappies, and that then all goes into the wash. They're actually really good at getting like stubborn poo off his bum. You know, it's sometimes you get a little odd flex of that, like just dry and, and just stick on. It's really good to get off. Um, much better than slippery um, baby wipes, which just tend to either push it off or not really do anything. With these, you can really get at it and it just seems a lot like cleaner, a lot nicer. Another thing that I realized is that they, they really bleach nicely in the sun. So I was a bit worried about them staining with baby poo, but actually um, once you stick them in the sun, even for an hour, they, they come out nice and white again, which is lovely. Otherwise you can just bung them in the tumble dryer and they'll, they dry in no time, which is great. Cheeky wipes. The pros include, they are easy to use, they're easy to wash and dry, 
They're great at getting off that stubborn poo from the bum and they're pretty easy to store. The cons include, they can stain if you aren't line drying them out in the sun, so you may find them turning a little bit brown, especially if you use the white ones like I have. But as far as cons go, that's basically about it. Next is the Next To Me bed by Chico, but we have found this really useful this time, mostly because I had an emergency C-section this time and having that ability to um, just lift him out of the bed when it's at my level, is it was really, really useful, especially with breastfeeding. So I was able to feed him and just slide him over and he would just fall back asleep again, which was lovely. Also simple things like being able to calm him and soothe him if I was able to sort of rub his tummy or put my hand on his tummy, or um, he, he likes to, to suck my little pinky finger instead of a dummy. He just won't take a dummy for whatever reason. So um, I would let him suck on my on my finger which would then calm him and soothe him and, and that, little things like that are just so much easier to do when you've got this bed right next to you with, with your baby rather than a Moses basket or a separate cot that is further away from you. So in that respect it was really useful. The Chico next to me cot. The pros include they are excellent after a c-section. It means you are close to your baby without getting up too much or moving around. And they are a nice size, so your baby can easily stay in it until they're around six months old, where you'll be transferring them into their bigger cot. Cons include, they are a bulky piece of extra furniture in your bedroom. So if your bedroom's already pretty small, it can be a little bit big, especially next to your bed. They are not portable, unlike, say, a Moses basket where you could put the baby up and move it around the house. Next is the Sleepyhead Deluxe Baby Pod. So Aiden actually only used this up to 10 weeks old because he is a big boy, he's tall. So what actually we found is that he outgrew it really quickly and it's just something to bear in mind if you uh, give birth to big babies. It is also a quite a bulky thing to have around the house um, once you stop using it. So um, at the moment it's on our dining room table and we don't really use it really. Um, we put him down in it occasionally if we need to say set up the pram or we need to grab some bags for shopping or something like that. So in that respect it's been useful to be able to pop him down quickly but we now don't use it to the to the point where um, we we need it around anymore, so we're now in the uh, process of trying to sell it. I suppose um, we used it quite a lot in the early stages. He did quite like it and he would fall asleep in it um, during the day, but personally I don't think it's worth the money. It is really expensive to buy, uh, if you buy, buy it new, just for a very short time in their lives. How I have, however, heard uh, the opposite, where people have absolutely loved it. So um, I wouldn't say no to using it again um, if we had another one, but as far as uh, Aiden's concerned, I just feel like it was a bit of um, a waste of money, but uh, it, it might not have been necessary to buy it this time. The Sleepyhead Deluxe Sleep Pod. Pros include, keeps baby feeling nice and snug, especially in the early stages. And therefore, they are great for naps when they are very little. The cover is easy to wash, easy to get off, and easy to clean. And it's a great safe place to put baby down for short periods. The cons include, they are very expensive for what they are, and there are cheaper alternatives out there. As per the guidelines in for the actual pod itself, baby is not supposed to sleep in it overnight, so this is something to consider. They're bulky to store, especially if you use it for a short time, and babies, especially big babies like Aiden, can outgrow them pretty quickly, which means you have to buy the bigger size very early, which is an extra cost. And finally, the nursing shawl, which I felt like I would have benefited from it last time when I had my little girl, Emily. This time, however, there's been a global pandemic and we just haven't been socialising as much or meeting up with people or 
partying or going to pubs or, or anything like that. So all the situations where nursing sure might have been helpful, we've just not been doing. So I think I've only used it twice since I've bought it. Um, and that was during the early stages, during the summer when we've been going out and, and going to parks and things. Um, and, and even then, actually, I felt a bit ridiculous using it because I felt like it had drawn more attention by me using it than if I had just whipped my boob out. Um, but I suppose having it there, um, probably as an option, made me less anxious about breastfeeding in public. You know, knowing it was there made me feel more calm about breastfeeding. So in some respects, yeah, it, it was useful. But um, I think if there was any other situation other than everyone being in lockdown, then, it, you know, it would probably have more use. But in this time around, again, it was probably a bit of a waste of money, but I didn't pay much for it. So worst case scenario, I'll either resell it or hand it over to someone, a friend of mine who might be having a baby. The nursing shawl or cover. Pros. It's easy and light to carry around in a bag for when you need it. It's very easy to wash. It's great for peace of mind if you find yourself in an awkward situation out in public where you don't feel comfortable feeding. And it's great for the early stages of breastfeeding where you might find it fiddly and be nervous about feeding in public. And you can get them pretty cheap, especially secondhand. Cons include, can be buffy to use, especially if you don't use it regularly. Not great on a hot day, as baby is under a hot cover already and close to your body, so can make everything a little bit hot under there. Baby can pull on it, which can make breastfeeding harder than it already is. And finally, it can actually draw more attention to yourself than if you had just whipped out your boob and fed directly, especially if you find it faffy to use and you're not used to using it. So I'll write down all the information of all the things that we bought down below in my information box. But um, if you've got any questions about these products, then please feel free to add it to the comments. Um, I'd love to hear from you if you have experienced any different from any of these products. But um, I hope you have found that useful. I certainly would have done the first time round if I had known. But um, otherwise, I will see you next time.